What's going on, everybody? This is Fry. So it's August 31st, 2022. Uh, I'm trying a completely new kind of deck. If you guys are looking at this deck list, you're probably really confused. So let me explain. I'm calling this Combo Control. We were playing Control Boogaloo the other day, and I realized if you just put a Zombot on the field, put a big card on the field, and you don't have any brains left, the opponent's really able to take advantage of that. They can hard remove your big card you played or just play another lane. So the yeah, the mindset of this deck is instead of playing one huge card on turn 8 or turn 9, we're going to be playing a small card uh, that costs 3, 4, 5, or 6, depending on the turn, and we're going to be comboing it with one of your control cards. Control cards can be used not only to stall in the early game and get to the late game, but they can be combined very effectively uh, if played on curve together with a large card. For example, Rocket Science is an extremely efficient card. For three costs, you can really remove most of the many, many sun they played that turn, take the value off the field. Uh, same thing with Alienus. Again, a really efficient removal card. We are running Environments, which we're going to be setting up, which will make our late game uh, more powerful. But the alien who's there then should be able to get good shots because they're usually going to be playing into the hunting grounds or else you're going to be getting a lot of value by, from your minions moving. So uh, we're also running again for Nibbles. Nibble is a card rather than, you know, cards like Bungie, Plumber, Rolling Stone that kind of like hit something and remove it. This weakens, this can remove cards, but this can also fix a trade. If they, tr you know, if you play a big card on the field and they front it with something that it trades poorly against, Nibble can totally correct that for only one cost. Same thing with Extinction Event. Does the same thing. This can control opponents on turn two, but the these control cards end up being your combo plays in the late game. So if it's turn nine, you go six plus three. Even if it's turn six, you can start playing Moonwalker, which is why I'm running this. Every once in a while, you'll just play a Moonwalker, and this will absorb their big removal, which is sort of the answer to all of your late game cards. We're also running, you know, Cyborg, which creates another five drop. That's why I cut uh, one of these Supernova Guards, just because we're going to have an abundance of five. I uh, really want to be playing on curve uh, every single turn, you know, to have the maximum uh, value from you playing your mid-sized cards together with a control card. You're really going to resist the temptation of its turn five to just play a Supernova Guard. We're almost never going to do that in this deck. We're just going to sit and control them. And again, we should have answers in our hand. I'm running tons of big removal. Uh, and we're going to wait at least until turn seven or eight, preferably turn eight for the Supernova Guard so you can combine it uh, with a big removal card. Well, let's see how this deck does. Maybe it needs card draw. I am running King of the Grill for that reason. I'm also running um, the Bounty Hunter. The other card that, of course, goes well, it can be played on curve and, you know, prevents the problem of them just removing your card or making good play in another lane is Teleport. So you can always, on turn 5, teleport in a... Um, a pretty good interstellar bounty hunter and again if they play something that's too big your backup plan is always just going to be a rocket science uh, this is a completely new way of playing control decks I, I think we can try this mostly beastly you know the only brainy cards i wanted to try it with rockets since that's a really strong combo card um to be playing together with the late game teleport also uh, but really we can be trying this with other heroes and uh we'll have a lot more options in terms of which late game cards we run let's see how this deck does i'm excited for this uh hope you guys enjoy and let's see if this completely new way of controlling opponents is going to is going to work um it, we're this is going to be a grueling stream it's going to be really difficult for me to play i'm probably going to be making adjustments to the deck uh, i'm going to commit to to um eight games today so if you think this deck will win six out of eight is going to be the bets that will be a yes um five out of eight is going to be a no over here at the live stream as usual twitch.tv forward slash fry em up uh really really excited for the potential and how this might if this works this would unlock cards like supernova guard to actually be pretty competitive because the you know it does have pretty good stats for just one card you're playing you know um, so this is good. We're just going to look at the opponent. You don't really need a key. It's not a trickster deck, so you don't actually have to have the trickster, which allows you to be much freer in terms of what you do um, for the early game. Uh, you can draw into your late game. I'm going to just try to pick cards that are very good against particularly Wall Knight. Um, one of them is the... This will draw two cards, so I like it. Start working on this Wall Knight. Uh, the, the, usually Cyborg is pretty good against, uh, against Walnut here. 
I was gonna go Cyborg on two, but I'm actually gonna go either Nibble or Extinction Event now. We can always play the Cyborg later. Technically, could Cyborg Nibble on three to combo control that way. I just really want the Bat to draw as many cards as possible. Let's see if he has like a Colonel Pult or. Uh... Okay. <laughs> well, that's a pass. It looks like it's gonna be a Pecanolith deck, and he's trying to build a wall, so to speak, before that. I'm gonna go with Cyborg here, since we're probably not gonna get a good alien news. I uh, would really like to see an Enviro <laughs> for Spine Apple. Um, so the question is, what do we nibble here? I think I'll just nibble this. Looks pretty. I can also nibble next turn to heal the damage. Am I gonna play on curve next turn? I, I, I'm, well, two plus, well... I'm probably gonna go Cyborg Alien Deuce next turn, so let's not worry about the damage. We're drawing two cards here still, which is amazing. We got Alien News Galore. Kind of want Extinction Event this. It's not, he's not really doing that much damage, so... That's the problem with Spine Apple. At the end of the day, you pull off the amazing combo, and these guys are 2 8. It's just not even scary. I don't think I'm going to have to rocket anything here. I'm going to set up a second cyborg. Yeah. I'm probably playing for Teleport Supernova Garg on 6 right now. So we'll just completely pass next turn. It's done. Extinction in 3 looks awfully good right now. Not anymore. <laughs> it's just a spine apple deck. Uh, this trade is fine. I, I probably should take out one of these cards just to get some more block meter. Uh, I guess I'll take out the ramp. 2-1 with ramp is better than a 2-2. Two -two. I, again, I know this deck looks so newbie, but so far we're, we're doing everything we want. We've drawn so many cards, too, so we have card advantage. That bat really came in clutch. Uh, so we patiently pass here, I think. If he passes, we'll teleport in like a Moonwalker in one, but I'm usually just going to alien ooze here. We'll see what, he, what else he's running. And we'll teleport Supernova Garg. I feel like this deck might die to Supernova Garg. Yeah. Um, I, I I don't want to get rid of the. I want to make this lane Bullseye. So I'm gonna alien use this one. Oh, I could have alien used. Whoops. Could have alien used this one. And then these trade. I'll take a little more damage, but. I think a 1-1 one, one is actually fine. We don't need... That's actually overall a good thing. We don't need to remove this. Yeah, it's fine. I like this better. We're getting blocks. Now we can kill that for free. Uh, so I think teleport... Super. Novagark. Looks good. We'll try to save heights for the Moonwalker. We also have the environment, so... Cool, come back. <laughs> Third spine apple. <laughs> uh, so we'll just play this. Start getting some damage in. We're taking a little too much heat here. Blocking lock. We could probably just play Moonwalker plus. And we don't have like the small removal cards we're looking for here. I like that the fact that we can play. And again, a nice beefy card, a 4-4, four, four, and only costs three. So we have so many <laughs> another spine apple. I mean this is a gimme. I know this this was not a, a tough opponent. Oh, 
What's better, one bullseye or two regular? At this point, probably two regular is better. We probably tell it well if we teleport one in we don't have a curve I'm gonna go I'm gonna go like this plus the control point without the hunting grounds the alien oozes really have not been doing enough we gotta try to maybe set the set the hunting grounds up like sooner I guess it's protected Bruh, wow, we're taking all this heat now. I would have gone for extra damage there. He needs to rush us now. Dun, dun. Da, 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 da. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna let him proc my block. Well, he's proccing the block anyway. He's doing two, two, and one. No, no, no. Well, if he has a heal, this doesn't even kill it though, so it doesn't play around heal. I'm gonna get rid of this one. Been a little bit sad. To, he doesn't have any cards. It's the good news. No, 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 no. Yes. So we're taking two. We hopefully just win in these two lanes. This is scary though. Play around a removal card by, by playing for teleport. We can actually just lose this if he has a nut. No, 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 no. No, no, no. So we're taking four. We don't have a way of actually dealing with this sort of card. I almost wish I had one of those alien oozes left. It looks like we're going to lose to the Spineapple deck. We need... Just a little bit more, but we don't have it. We actually lost to this. It's so sad. What went wrong? We're one off. If we would have just had this, would have had one less health. We would have been okay, but instead we lose. Huh. I mean, Mirror Nut would be good against a Morticia. Maybe we need to do this with Smash and just have Rolling Stones for that reason. I feel really stupid right now. <laughs> because... I think the deck actually did everything it, it could. It just couldn't deal with, like... Oh, I mean, Nibbles would have helped. I don't know, man. You know what? If we would have healed with that Nibble earlier, we probably would have survived there. Keeping Evaporate would not have helped, though. There's nothing to evaporate there. Wouldn't have helped at all. What I needed was cards. Really, a Nibble would have would have won the game there. An alien, another alien news. I feel like maybe I needed to get more value out of the alien oozes. I don't know, man. We're gonna keep an eye on. Miranut is always a problem for Immortisha. Because we really don't. There's no answer to it in this deck. Zero. We need to run nuts or berries. I don't know, man. It's sad because it fe felt like the deck did actually pretty well, but we still lost. <laughs> That's a fine hand. We 
We drew all those cards too. What is going on? We're gonna do this again. Evaporate would not have destroyed lane 2 water chestnut because you have to damage it in order to activate evaporate. Using extinction event does not help. Extinction event does not open up evaporate. It's got to be damaged. It's the reason why evaporate's very a pretty good card with Boogaloo and a pretty bad card um, without. I think this is fine here instead of killing it. I like the bat existing. Well, do I? Mm, maybe that was a mistake. Well, it blocks five damage eventually. Maybe that's good. Ah, uh, Roan. Dun 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 dun. Had all these rockets, nothing really to use them on. Hmm. Grocer. He's feeding me another card. I don't mind that. Uh, I think this is fine. It'll still give us block meter charge. It also makes the rockets work behind it. Drawing another card here. Uh, so we're not playing Bounty Hunter here. We gotta play on, you know, play our big cards off curve. I would really like, we might have to rock it here. We probably don't have to rock it if we play this, so I think this plus the environment would be good. Opening up alien is here. We're gonna have three plus three. I'm probably gonna teleport this in and then go three plus three next turn. Teleport into the pod father. Could also teleport it here once the train. Bro. It's nine damage. We're losing to some god awful decks, so I don't know this classic control maybe is just not good enough here. No, 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 no. I'm singing Rushy. Very good Q. Uh, we're almost dead now, though. Because we just don't have answers to that. This is the type of card. These are usually bad, but it's the type of card that this, this deck just doesn't have an answer to at all. Uh, it's 3 plus 3, I guess. I probably should have played for Rocket there, though, instead of, instead of this guy. Rocket's better. We can rocket this now, thank the lord. So this moves. Hopefully we'll block. Uh, oh, this guy's here. Thanks. Supers, no! This doesn't quite put us away. But it's awfully close. Uh, this is fine. We'll probably actually win this game since he only has one card left. He has this nice rocket here. I think we're doing fairly well here. This is when, you know, this empty field situation, this is when the stack's really gonna shine. This is gonna be four. Plus three. We can cover two cards this turn. We can't, you know, if we spent everything, we would not be able to necessarily do so. 
That's the last two cards. I think we're fine. <laughs> Barely, but good enough. So it's still five plus three. So this is the play. Just means whatever he play, whatever this last card is, we have the answer. <laughs> Bruh. Why would you play that though? It didn't do anything. Definitely gotta save the grocery room there. So good. good content hey, Lucas so this is good all this should be really good against wall Knight. it's rock again if we're getting us triceratops that would be rough save the summoning control that I'm gonna go with this though it's so good against against Triceratops. Gotta play it. We'll set up the hunting grounds, hopefully, this turn. We're gonna have some turns where we pass, so we'll have an opportunity to play out the grounds. Opponent did not have an answer to that. Are we only one and one? Did I count a disconnect or something? Sorry, we've had two disconnects in a row. Did I accidentally count one of them? We beat the green shadow. You're right. It's one and one. I'm sorry. The man is cheating. Again, if we need a control, we do that. If not, we've been hunting ground summoning. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Well. No, 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 no. We don't really need to to um just, uh... Sorry, I'm just trying to do too many things right now. The right down there. Why did he not cover that? Okay. Uh, we might just nibble this. Nuts of berries! Yes! <laughs> yes! 
Do I nibble it to keep this card alive? Uh, I don't think so. I think we open up the hunting grounds better. Thank you, nuts or berries. Pleasure doing business with you. So now what? We have teleport, uh, teleport and, uh, and we're not really afraid of heal combo yet. Bruh. So this always happens. I love playing on curve. Five five. Draw a card. Love it. You jet. That, that's really the better way than playing it on turn four. It just gets exploited too much. Bounty hunter. Teleported on five. That was incredible. Oh, so interestingly, we we do get this. The um. The bra. When it's also on curve, I think this is the right play. Should I do it here? I'm playing into Cuke if I play here. I kind of want the bounty hunter to be hunting though. So I'm gonna play this actually on heights. Love to see it. If he plays into lane 3, the bounty hunter just gets bigger and opens up the hunting grounds for another buff. So there's the shamrock. We're still safe! See, that's the problem. If you have no brains left and they shamrock it, you lose. But if you have three brains left, well, <laughs> nothing nothing happened. Everything is fine. Pass. I'm gonna pass this turn and teleport in this guy now. Turn seven. Let's go. Uh, heal combo is kind of imminent here. Well, I only use that. So he has the, uh, the big one. The four damage one. And taco. But he can't heal anymore. He can only heal for one. And I think we still pass. Hey, uh, da, da, da. So we have this now. Another one. Does he have heals though? Really, really stifling control here. And we don't have again, that's that's fine. I'll drag things into the spike wheel now, okay. Just got two cards. We have ten health. This guy's screwed. This is like the the, the last place you wanna be as a heal wall knight. It's just be facing us having a lot of late game. There's a Shamrocket. He's not gonna get back. We're just have ex just crazy card advantage. He doesn't have any combos left. That is okay. Let's see what we get from the teleport. Straight, pretty straightforward here. Do I nibble? It usually just procs the block here anyway. There's no difference between this having three and four health. So let's save the nibbles. We're gonna draw two extra cards here. Uh, roll to one, okay. We'll still get better nibbles than that. Really nice luxury to have all these nibbles. So we have six plus something. We have just six plus nibbles, I guess. Pretty good stats here. <sighs> Hibernating bear. We got thirteen damage on his face right now. Um Three, this doesn't even kill it. It's got a heal. So this just hits us one time here. We'll play the bat or the summoning here.
really brutal what we're doing to this guy now, but we should win with the bats. Really Drawing another card. Smack. That that's kind of exactly how we wanted this deck to go. Again, we were up against heal, which is uh, a little bit hard to control if they're pulling off heal combos. But we got it done. Here we go. Did I have Telegrill instead of playing Bat? I then would have drawn extra cards. Um, then block. Well, if he blocks, he blocks anyway. I don't know. <laughs> I think it was the same. We don't need more damage there. You guys want to see me draw the extra card? All right. So we'll ditch the early game until we feel like we're really comfortable fighting this wall knight. Should be okay. It should be right. I feel like we're not setting up hunting grounds early enough, so it's going to be something I'm going to try to do. Okay. So again, if we see a triceratops, we're obviously going to be in big doo doo. Don't even have an answer to it. They actually don't even have well, I guess this is playable. We really don't have an well we have nibbles. Ah, uh, we don't get them though. Maybe I should have mulligans. So that makes our life easier. Overall, since he didn't have play, then this is what he's responding with. It's kind of garbage. Is this worth a nibble here? We might need this for something later. I don't... I don't uh, it's a little bit of it. It's one damage per turn. This is going to make a difference. I don't think so. I like how he didn't play this into the hunting grounds. I'm still going to be cautious. There's a bunch of things he could do, like Astricado, so I'll play this next turn. Let's really stick to what this deck does. Just don't have an answer to Picanola. No, 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 no. Makes it die to alien is we can get an environment somehow. I'll use that next turn here. Opens up the evaporate. So it's gonna be we, we, we still need to be able to alien us here. So I'll use summoning and alien us. This is what kills us though. This is so sad. It's really, really unfortunate that this is what we have to deal with here. We can't deal with Picanolith. This is just too much damage now. Why do I even alien ooze here? Like, this is what we lose to. We lose to the cards that Morticia cannot deal with with a single card. And Miranon and Picanolith are it. I mean, it doesn't really get that much worse than we actually block that. Love to see it. I'm gonna save this.
So it's three, three, and one now. I, I, again, it depends on the matchups. These matchups are really good against the Morticia and would be terrible. Same deck with the Smash. <sighs> no, and he, he just played around Evaporate. That's so no. Oh, wait, did he? No, we nibbled it. No, we can't do anything with that now. So I'm gonna. I'm gonna do it like this. Uh, this bad also gets two health. So this is fine. We're, we're still in the game. Yeah, our block really saved block me to really build us out last turn. This also kills the, the mirror knight here. Did one. We'll take two and then two. We're still in the game, but it's not comfy. We can't raw, we can't do, there's no card that answers this unless it's in an environment. So now what do we do? <sighs> this is rough that this procs the block here. We need to kill this Pecanolith or we're not going to win. I don't know, man. We're really, really stuck. I guess we go for the Pecanolith block. And we try to alien as whatever else he plays here, and then just we're stalling. Oh, this is so rough. I'll do this a different day with the smash. It's just the matchups, though. The deck's doing everything it needs to, really. It's a rocket. So we blocked the six here, so we're technically still alive. What are you summoning here? I'll use Acid Rain, why not? Imagine having an answer to this, we'd be fine. So it's 6, plus 3 now I can do this play. Bone has 4 cards, he needs to just play 2 of them and he wins. And that's it. That'll do it. We lose. Just lose. Three plus one. Yeah, right there. I mean, I don't know, man. It would face two Pecano left and two Mirrodot decks. And we lost to both of them. I mean, we're going to lose to that. I don't think any Control Morticia deck. Maybe the Teleport Zombot would have been good, but... Ugh. And without the heal, we at least would have evaporated it. I'll do this deck with the Smash a different time. But again, the moment we search a Smash, this is not the... We're not going to... How many Mirrorknot decks and Pecanolith decks do we see per month in the stream? Like, like that. that's all of them. That was all of them that we've seen this month. You know what I mean? <laughs> I just can't deal with it. If you're playing Control and they have engines that you can't deal with, you're going to lose. It's as simple as that. This is good. really like a better one. Alright, let's go for it. But, you know, again, Smash would be solving this problem. Just run Squirrel. Like, you, you, again. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Think about it. If we start running Squirrel, then what happens? Do we play around Spikeweed Sector? I'm just gonna do this. Imagine we start running Squirrel, there's not going to be any nut nutex anymore. Interesting. Get the card. It's just doing too much. Nibble, really nice. It's like a nibble bat now. Sus. Oh, 
Do 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 We have this play next turn to kill it. We're free. I like my block meter full too. I'm not getting hit by two. Uh, we're, I think we're doing okay here still. This depends what this what happens this turn. He really didn't follow up this forget me nuts with anything. That's why forget me nuts, it's not like a control card, it's a tempo card. You gotta play cards the next two turns for this to be good, and he didn't have anything. Literally, like literally nothing. And this bat has hunt and it has stats, so this is a a control card in itself. Hell yeah. Like for real run squirrel instead of cyborg. I don't know about that man. Nice that we have another environment. Keeps this going. Got all the answers. Um, I'm gonna use a rocket since Alien News can deal with some things that Rocket cannot. We have two rockets. That's good, and you just use Nibble there. I like this better. See, we could teleport in Cyborg if he passes. We'll probably teleport in on four since we want the bat to hunt, not the Cyborg. Squash. So teleport Cyborg in three now. Good old six damage. Now we have a minion set up. <laughs> Just concedes. <laughs> Alright, the deck loses to Mirror Nut. That's how it goes. You tried Immortitia Teleport Vampires, yes. You can find several decks like that on YouTube. I had a new version of it recently that did not work. <laughs> I think I should really just add Squirrel into this deck now. What if I just tech two? Two Squirrels. What do you say? So be it, Russia. Again, hard to know who's sniping. Um, I think we'll go for Alien News next year. Take the, take the block charge. You can also do this. Uh, this is a good answer to Captain Cucumber next turn. What's up, the environment? Nuts or berries? Sometimes there's even non nut decks that have a nut, like a forget me nuts that's annoying or. A wing nut. Berries, less so. Uh, I probably should have saved those for the B Rex next turn, duh. Okay, this will play around the B Rex. My banana sword. Should I put this on the ground though? Just to, well, he doesn't have a spike weight. Never mind. He doesn't use an environment to counter that. Do, 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 do. That's great. He uses a three drop on our two drop, and we get a card. That's called money value. No, 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 no. no. I, I think the nibble allows us to play the the bounty hunter here. It's good enough. You know, anyway, I mean, we could go for rocket, but there's no card that he can play that gets rocketable that won't die to a five five plus a nibble. Not sure what's better in this matchup, nibble or acid rain. He just passed. Give the man an answer. 
I think I'm gonna go five plus one still. What are we worried about? Cop cannon right now? Cop combo. I could pass and keep keep doing our, our shtick. That means we don't play this for two more turns. Nah. Now I'll go for it. Playing around cute. Solar Flare versus Nightcap game. <laughs> used to be a glitch where you could play against your friends and mess around with the, with the teams and you'd have plants versus plants and the whole game would glitch out. Back in the good old days. Back in the glory days of PvZ Heroes. Well, having worked out all the bugs before completely abandoning this game. That's nice. I'm gonna play for Rocket this turn. We'll do this next turn. Set up hunting grounds. P Moss. Wee! Good thing we play for Rocket. That's scary. Give the man an environment. Let's try that. Real. Got nibble, nibble. Good enough. <laughs> this guy's going for fun late game combos. Bruh. Doesn't do anything. Congratulations on doing nothing. Pass. I love how we get an extra card of something like a playable minion, anything, I don't care. <laughs> That's pretty good with the... Uh, with the grounds. Guys, new meta, Chomzilla Repeat Moss. Such OP. The teleport might lead to happy things, so I'll just do this for now. This becomes a 4-4 four, four when it moves. So cool. Such cool! Uh, Nibble Alienus. Scourge. Uh, it's just Alienus, actually. Teleport. Uh, this is a 6-2, so we actually have this play for the win. Yay, we win! Yeet! Smack! Lunch. I think the deck is dominating, we just lost two goddamn mirror nut decks, come on! Okay, I'm putting in the squirrels. That guy had a, had a nut too. Guys, it's time for Squirrel. What do we take out for two Squirrels? <laughs> no one's gonna expect Squirrel. What has not been getting it done? The alien uses have sort of not been getting it done. I feel like we might need another environment too. Do 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 well, the squirrel sort of takes the place of at least one of the alien is. What else would we take out? Alien Jews. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Imagine this deck with black holes, so the alien uses end up being amazing. I'm actually looking forward to the Smash version, man. So what did we just get rid of? We got rid of... No, we added squirrels. So we want another control card to go away. I feel like the amount of late game is, is enough. I don't think we're, we have excess late game here. I could just get rid of this. Should I get rid of a cyborg? What do we get rid of here? Remove our rocket, too? I feel like rocket's the main thing that's, that's like making us not die, though. 
Squirrel. We could probably get rid of this because of how less useful it is. We have enough uh, late game though now. I don't know, I'm a little bit reluctant to cut these. It's kind of like our big finish. But we end up with all these fives. Alright. Can Rocket is both to control the early game and to combo with our late game cards. The rockets are of utmost importance. La 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 Keep Squirrel against Grass Knuckles. Let's go. Come on, forget me nuts. God damn it. Uh, this is most definitely good enough. This is such a good card against Grass Knuckles, man. It's gonna banana peel rumble now. Watch this. Hell yeah. We're not gonna try to do predictive squirrels, preemptive squirrels. We're gonna wait till he has a nut and then we're gonna do it. If he plays a one drop in Spike Weed Sector, that would be the best case scenario. Uh, Captain Cucumber would also be really good. Uh, so I like this now. I think we don't really have a big removal play, so I'm gonna go 3 plus 1. I love the huge stats and the hunt to, you know. We can handle big cards because this card is gonna be out is gonna outstat anything he plays, and we can handle multiple little cards because of the nibbles. This is it turns out a really good play. We play Spike Weed Sector, this also dies in three turns. So it's not really much of an answer. You think Squirrel would be better or worse without Gravestone? I don't know. <laughs> That's cool. So this will hunt to the left and live now. Interesting play. The question is, what am I doing this turn? I might just place Dry Supernova Garg. Um, this will... This has one health, it'll have two when it hunts to the left. Uh, meaning Nibble's probably good now. Uh, I'm kind of betraying the deck by nibbling here. I just want this guy to live. I I, I might just be playing Super Supernova Guard here since I don't have a I don't have a removal card, so I'm kind of forced to. I'm forced to YOLO it. Not the, really the situation you want to be in in this deck. Okay, now, and we have this. This is still better though. Well, Extinction actually, Extinction could theoretically do a lot here. Can also hit these. The Supernova Garg seems good. It really plays around more threats than Extinction Event. So I'm gonna do this. Really, any big card just ruins us here. We can only pass there when you have a rocket or an alien is. Unfortunately, when we cut one of the alien is, it would have been really good here. If we had an alien is, I would not be forced to play this. This could end up being really good. He, he, if he's going for a minion, he does not have an answer to Supernova Guard. Punta. So now we have the extinction for these bananas. That's okay. That's so stupid, bro. You're just feeding the bouquet. Well, it, well, it happens next turn. He's going to drag it. He just doesn't want to take six damage. I don't know. That's good for us. He just also wasted Root Wall. It didn't get any value there. He's just stalling. But now, that what if this 1-3? I don't know, man. So probably just still... Well, we also have this problem. We can really just play King of the Grill here and get the two for one. There's not a whole lot he can do about this. Alright, let's go. We draw two cards on the uh, Supernova Garg King of the Grill combo.
That's that's not that's okay. That's enough to kill the supernova guard. Huh. We evaporate this. That was a good play. Or just extinction. Smack. Get another card though. Look to see. La 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 la. Let's really do anything. We have King of the Grill Evaporate. Looks pretty good. We also have Acid Rain, just in case. It means we draw four cards from this pair cub, which is cool. If he drags this with, a, like, a Garlic or something, then we just evaporate this. Probably evaporate no matter what. It's a beat. Onion Rings, very sad. Banana peel. So it's evaporate. We also play where we acid rain. This has got to be right now. So big. So big. We don't really need the cards right now. Just need to put this guy away. So we draw two cards from that. We're anyway milled, yeah. <laughs> Definitely didn't need cards there. So again, no big removal cards. This is not a situation I like to be in. I'm regretting putting taking out the alien despite how well this deck is performing right now. Um, so it's gonna be one six. And one. We hunt lane two with the cheese cutter if he plays there, so we don't have to cover that lane. This should put him away. We have triple lethal. This this lunchbox makes us survive too. Why didn't I acid rain when I drew? It just didn't seem like we were going to get more value if we held it, but you're right. Turns out we didn't. Give the man a doom shroom. He's either throwing his phone in the lake or he's turning on his recording for this doom shroom. <laughs> Quick, screen record. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. I won't see any nut decks now that I have Squirrel. Whoa, well, <laughs> again, I don't know. I really, again, it's so easy to call everyone a sniper. I really don't know how many people are actually sniping. What percentage of my of my opponents are just, I don't know, man. Hard to say. I do get matches much faster when I'm streaming than when I'm not. I mean, that's... <laughs> it's not surprising. I'm gonna look for another control card rather than that. I like the fact we get summoning means we can deal with whatever he plays here. Such goofy opponents today, I, I agree. Uh, we're in a 7 and 2 scenario, guys. I said I'm only playing 8 games today. This has been a long stream. <laughs> not how I thought it would go at all, I'm not gonna lie. Um, is there anything that this. Gets bad into team ups. Not a lot of team ups here, Captain Combustible wise. So let's uh, let's just play this. To begin. Usually just trades with the Black IP. You know, Black IP would be a huge problem here. It just trades with that and gives us a card. So that's what we want to see. Ah. 
I don't know what is going on today. What was that play? Just plays double mint. Sure, here, take take my double mint for free. No problema. <laughs> if he had banana bombs, just use that instead of the double mint. <laughs> what is he doing? Goofy ass. Bruh. <laughs> It's going in the fail cup. What the hell was that? What in heck? What in heck was that? I hope this guy has berries. Game eight turn to double mint. Oh, it's going in the fail count. Uh, I think it's time to play on curve, because even a big thing we can summoning at least a chump block it. He really can't. Captain Cabal also can't deal with a 4 4. It's actually <laughs> beyond his removal range. God damn it. Do we use the summoning or the... I think these extinction events are going to be more useful down the stretch here, because it's an onion ring stuck. I didn't realize it's onion rings if he's passing that much. Duh. He didn't want to take three damage from the cyborg, so he played double them. That must be it. Guy, always give people the benefit of the doubt, you know? So we have... We have we're just going for control plays. He bops that. What is he what did he have from the there's this? Uh so the this is this is really awkward. He didn't spend his bag at all. What did he have in his hand? I don't even know, but I'm gonna do it like this. I wonder if just alien news would be better there than well it's nice to have a big removal card. Okay, here's this, so alien news just became a lot better. We're still passing here. It's just environment and friends. Um, so I'll go like this. I really would like to save the alien. So if this has a natural two attack, meaning it'll have three, then that'll be good enough. Hell yeah. Chicken's actually really good in hunting grounds, because no matter where he plays, this actually gets the buff and, 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 and flees. It opens up the grounds here. I'm going to trim my beard. Uh, so we, we have a card to play here. We will spend it. Do, do, do. I, I think that since he can't make a good trade against the 5-7, we'd rather be able to alley news in more lanes that are not filled with a guy. That's how this is going. He doesn't have any superpowers. Well, no. He, he must have one still, right? He didn't use... He didn't use any superpowers, no. Bro. <laughs> the hunt is real. The hunt is on. Okay. March off. La, 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 la. Extinction event would have been cool. That's a fine alien is. About as good as we get. I don't like that he's drawing cards. <laughs> la, 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 la. I think we just clog all the lanes. Uh, this should have gone in the environment. Whoops. This is okay, though. Maybe he'll play a, a berry. You never know. <laughs> That's a sus gravestone, man. We have four brains left. Ugh. Gosh.
Bruh. And instead of affronting like, this, uh, he wins. He wins. It's exactly lethal. Which we get time to shine too. Against Captain Combustible, you are never safe. I don't know if I want to play this here. I, I want. We're gonna play around that combo, man. <laughs> 19 damn we had him pretty well controlled until that last turn man what am i supposed to front a 3-3 i really should have played supernova gargan 2 and then played the squirrel in 4 anyway because we would have had a hunt that would have worked out we would have won that game if we would have done that unbelievable the crack play with Supernova Gargan 2, Squirrel on 4. Duh. I don't know, I just think he could take a 1-drop then, and then set up a Repeat Moss combo. Listen, what am I more afraid of? That? Fertilize? Into, I don't even know what a super... Fertilize, Blazing Bark, Grape Responsibility. Is what he played. A Repeat Moss combo is so much more likely than that. Than someone who's running Fertilize and Great Responsibility in the deck and also has both of them and also happens to have a super. Uh... <laughs> Why did you put in the stupid squirrel? If that had been Alienos, it wouldn't have been better there. Imagine the squirrels and Alienos, man. All right, guys, that was the uh, new type of control deck. I'm doing this with the Smash next. I'm going to say this is going to go on YouTube because this was a pretty fun stream. And it really showcased this brand new idea for the first time. I know the score looks a little so oh, five and three. That's pretty good. We're in Ultimate League, you know, because the season just reset. So we were playing mostly against people under rank 30 today, at least half. But, um,. I'm going to say that is going to go on YouTube, and uh, really looking forward to this with the Smash, because well, instead of running Squirrel and all this, we could just run Rolling Stone. We could run, uh, we'll probably run Hand of, you know, Knockout, turn 3 play instead of the Rockets, and run 4 Alley News, and then we'll run, uh, I don't know, we'll either run, well, maybe some mix of Hunting Grounds, we can also in that deck run Black Hole, which makes the Alley News, it was just way more effective. Way more. Hope you guys enjoyed. That was very, very fun. Peace and try.